My grandfather built his own home back in the 1930s in southern Illinois, and it was a passive solar home. He had faced it the right way to use the sun to come in and heat it in winter, and the cool of the earth on the floor to keep it cool in summer. And I remember we'd visit in summertime, and it might be 100 degrees outside, and we'd go down in the basement, and it would only be 69 or 70. Because Grandpa knew he had learned from his father and his grandfather how to live lightly on the earth using the natural energies you know, living more in balance with nature. And that's what we can all do to lower the energy we need for heating and cooling and lighting our homes. So look, we can take sun and make electricity from it in a solar panel, but it's much easier just to take the sun and allow it to work with us. The sun, you know, is it, the great thing is the sun in winter is low in the sky, so it can come into our homes and warm our homes up. And in summer, the sun is high and nature works this way. So if we put the right overhangs, we shade the sun in summer and we let it come in in wintertime into our homes. Mostly in the North America, we want our homes glass to face south. So southern windows, we want to make sure we keep them clean in winter because that's our passive solar heater. Now the east and west in summer times, you really don't want the heat. So sometimes it's a great idea to have some shades on the outside of the windows or you can even plant a tree that might lose its leaves in wintertime. So there's all these different great ways to work with nature to heat our homes, to give us light without needing any electricity at all. This window is being used as a heater in wintertime. So when the sun's low in winter, it's going to shine through that window and warm this big block wall on the inside. All these blocks will get stacked on here. And these are pre-painted with a flat black paint that will soak up the heat better than just the gray. And then all night long, that heat goes back into the house. So it's a little passive heater for the house in wintertime. So natural daylighting, orientation, using the sun to heat our buildings and keep it cool in summer, and then insulation, making sure our homes have really good insulation in the walls and even the windows. Dual glazed windows will be much better than single glazed windows. And then ventilation. Can we open windows and skylights at the top of the building to let that natural air, hot air, go out and get fresh air blowing in? And these are all systems that have worked for hundreds of years and been passed down from generation to generation. Daylighting, orientation, insulation, ventilation, even thermal mats, the amount of heavy objects inside a building that hold the heat and cool so that the temperature doesn't swing as much and we need less heating and cooling from gas burning or coal burning furnaces.